In this quick lesson, we're going to finish up on the book called Symmetries, which we're taking from HOG, the complete guide to option pricing formulas. So symmetries are two expressions which you can move between via trading market instruments. So they'd be arbitrage if they were different. We'll begin by looking at the at the money forward value symmetry. So put and call options have the same value when they are at the money forward. So that means that the strike price is at the same level as the forward market instrument. So we have the share price times e to the power of bt is equal to x. Now this may not hold when there are restrictions on short selling, for example. So market imperfections. We also have similar results when we have different strike prices. So the call price for a given share price, strike price and so on is equal to x over s e to the bt times a put option where we replace the strike price x by s e to the bt squared over x. So this is handy when we're pricing barrier options for example. Finally, we have the put call supersymmetry. So to get to that, we begin with the symmetry C is equal to P, where the variables for the put option are just are the same as for the call option, except we change the sign for S, X and Sigma. We also have the symmetry that k times a call option is equal to the call option except the parameters s and x are multiplied by k. Using these two we get our supersymmetry. So the call option with parameters s, x, t, r, b and sigma is equal to minus the put option with the same parameters except sigma is replaced by minus sigma. And this identity holds for many exotic options and American options as well. So it's pretty universal. And this means that we don't need to code put and call options separately, since by just using this supersymmetry we can get all our put option values using our call option function. So that finishes up our quick look at symmetries.